All right, you got a manifold gauge set, but you ran into your first car that requires R1234YF. Here's the things you need to know. You're gonna need an adapter kit for your R134 to 1234. Right here's the adapters. I'll show you how to use them. Also, you're gonna need a new can tap if you're gonna use these cans. The 1234, they have different threads than the R134 old can. So you're gonna need a new tap and you're gonna need an adapter kit. This kit was so much, much cheaper than I thought it'd be. Right here, you get two of these and you get a valve remover tool as well. Let's show you them in action. Right here's our low pressure side right here, which is gonna be blue. Simply pop your adapter on there first. Boom, it's on there. Now I can connect my 134 fitting to this 1234 fitting. There we go. And they're double stacked looking just like that. We're hooked up. Now spin your tap on. This is a uh, left-handed thread, so lefty tighty. A little wrench to tighten her up there. Now we just gotta get this one, two, three, four piece right here to hook up to our refill, which is different threads. So you're gonna need an adapter that you can buy separately or with other tap kits. Right there it is, see that? That's a one, two, three, four piercer, just like what we got. You need that there adapter. Or we can go straight from this can and you can get one of these hoses right here. Part number 6846 FJC. Got, got your gauge built right on into it. So we take this tap off, put that tap on. We can use that that way. Problem with using this is sometimes look how short that hose is. It's hard to get it into areas, you know? I'd much rather use this set right here, but we'll show you using this one. So this is marketed as a one, two, three, four tap with gauge hose, but for some reason it doesn't have the port on the end for one, two, three, four. So it doesn't, they're different from 134. So I still need to use this adapter if I use this hose. So this hose is fine if like you're up here, here's our high side. It's fine if you're up there, but down here we can't really see the gauge very well. We're right next to this hot exhaust. We're gonna start the car, put the AC on max. Yeah, it's just tight quarters, heat right there. It'd be better if the recharge system was over here with such a short hose. Bottle hooked up, upside down. You can see the gauge a little bit. You wanna turn your AC to maximum and it is blowing out frosty cool air after the second can. Now that can, that recharge should be about empty. We still need a little bit more in the system. We can go ahead and shut her off now and switch to our last can. I'm gonna double check, but I think this was 1.18 pounds or something for the whole system. You can look up your specs. And each one of these cans is uh, eight ounces, I believe. Yeah, eight ounces. So we need a little more than 16 ounces in the system. This was after doing a repair. We replaced some seals and whatnot. So system was Leaking, open, place, system vacuum down, vacuum held. Now it just needs uh, the 0 0.18. I'm gonna double check that that's what it is. And that'll be a uh, topped off system then. Don't forget to put your cap back on when you're done. All done after test drive. Nice and chilly.